Eddie Colon, ECT Tell is back with another episode, and this one I'm pretty stoked. This one uh, is a video I've been waiting to do. It's a video that I had to had to work up to, because you know when you get a bad taste in your mouth, and people who lose money tend to act different. So I will, first of all, I want to shout out Naz, y'all, for sponsoring this video. Uh, they sent me all these products, but per this line here, uh, and per the conversations we had, these will be my own comments, my own thoughts, my own, this is my review of their products. Here, here's what we're gonna do. First of all, shout out to police officers. Uh, my neighbor down the street, Jeff, is a police officer at Pocatello. Um, I respect all police officers, every first responder, appreciate everything you do. So this is my love back to him. What we're gonna do is his wife's car, we're gonna hook it up. So this is not a paid job. This is all for them. So here's what we have. We have a Ford Edge, and the Ford Edge, we are going to use every bit of Nazial items that we can, and we're gonna discuss Nazial today. If you don't know what Nazial is, the first time I saw Nazial was on Car Supplies Warehouse. I saw how Jeremy, uh, Jason worked with um, Eric to you know polish this black GMC paint. If you haven't, I'll put the link in the description below of their video, how they went through the process of testing and learning and discovering. After that video, when Car Supplies Warehouse started carrying it, uh, Tim McLaughlin was like, yo, Eddie, you need to try their compounds. Tried their compounds, did my own video. I bought Glass Shield, put that on. I did my own video on that. And I gotta tell you that their compounds are some of the best compounds in the game. That video, you can see in the description below where I put it against Soul. Level Cosmetics cuts better, finishes on better. It's just a real great compound. Um, but let's talk about Nazial. Nazial as a brand, a quick overview. They're out of Turkey, created by, I believe, three engineers, got together, created their brand. And it's one of the only companies, uh, one of the other two companies or three companies in the world that can synthesize their own raw. So they break down their own raws. They do a lot of white labeling for a lot of people. Um, and they do that out there in Turkey. So their formulas that they offer you are professional grade formulas that the everyday man or woman can buy. All right, let's go over the products in this video. Uh, everything you see in this video, you can find the links in the description below. Uh, EC20, Jamie 20 gets you 20% off. Listen to me. It's not affiliated, but it gets you 20% off for the month of July. Also, if you're interested and you want to be a part of something wonderful, we're doing a massive giveaway. And all you have to do to enter is show off your Nazial products. So it could be a picture on Instagram. And the one that gets the most views, you can share it with Jimmy and I, and then we'll share it all across the internet. One that gets most views gets a huge package, including uh, NL272 compounds, pad, and a polisher to get the job done for your car. All right, so let's talk about the products we're using in this video. I tend to break uh, review videos up in two camps, right? The goal is to show you how it works in the exterior. There are some gaps in the Nazial product line, uh, so you won't be able to do the whole thing with just Nazial, but they do have a soap. We'll go over that. And they do have other things that you can use for it, but they don't have like a decon spray. They don't have a tire cleaner and things of that nature. They do have a tire shine, so we'll use that. So let's go over the products we're gonna use for this video and the why. So number one, Clean On Pro is their soap that they offer. Uh, this soap is uh, 1548 online. Uh, right now, you if you use the soap, the dilutions is one to one, so you have to use 100 mils of water. 100 mils of the product, it's a lot, right? If you have a grill, it's a boss canning foam, you can put it right on top, use the purple tip, the foaming tip, metering tip, and then you can foam your car on. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna foam this car on. We're gonna let it sit for a little bit. We're gonna do our contact wash with it. And after we get through the decon process, we're gonna go straight into compounding. My two compounds of choice, and I've used this in the shop before all this nonsense is 305. Shout out to Tim McLaughlin for getting me onto Nazial compounds, and then 505, which is refined. So these are the two combos I use mainly in the shop. I do have 105. If you require the nasty, nasty uh, rocks in the bottle, this does cut extremely aggressive. Uh, so if you use that, be careful. Uh, 305 could take down up to 1200 grit uh, with the rotary. You can use it with a DA. Uh, this is a one step beast. If you haven't seen that video, watch it here uh, where I put this against Soul, against Lava Cosmetica. Uh, and then 505 would be more if you're gonna do like a cleaning up the paint or a paint enhancement. So we're gonna use these today to get the paint right for my customer, uh, my friend, 
And then when we are finished with that, we're gonna use the Nazio panel prep. Uh, this is a more of a mild panel prep. Uh, it's supposed to take everything off the surface, get it ready for ceramic coating. And then we're going to use these two products for the car today. Actually, we're gonna do three because my lady has some trim. So what we're gonna use today, a product wise, go over, it, uh, go over it and then discuss it is trip trim coat. This is actually a trim restore. Wild thing about this, hear me out, hear me out. Look, sit down, relax, relax. The wild thing about this is we're used to taking trim restores, we're used to putting it on and then we're used to wiping it off and then making sure that we level with this, you don't level it. You take your applicator, you put it on, leave it on, walk away, that's it. So this up to two years of protection, it does restore, it does protect. This is their trim coat, I think it's like 30 bucks. Uh, and then we're gonna use their glass coating. I have this on the Tesla, on half the Tesla. Easy to apply, it's 20 sprays per section of the car. So you could probably get two or three cars off the bottle, but it's 20 sprays. So make sure you use the full 20. Don't be greedy, do it, okay? Do the full 20. If you don't, you're not gonna get the results you want. Um, and then they do have a video showing that about 40,000 wiper swipes is what it lasted. And then for the body of the car and everything else, we're gonna use ZR53. Uh, ZR53 is their three year coating. Uh, it's easy to apply. I say that tongue in cheek. If you don't know how to use it, it's gonna be miserable for you. So let's walk over application real quick. Uh, 30 second flash time max. Anything over that, you're gonna be polishing it off. If you're in a high humidity situation, 15 seconds, 10 seconds, please look, look do a small spot on the car. Don't do what I did and assume it's like everything else in the flashes. There are hard flash times for this. So follow that and then you'll get the slickness, the richness and the paint thickness. You know what I'm saying? Bars, bars, all right? So these are the three coatings that we're gonna use for the car. All right, so check this out. I'm, I'm, I'm always wanna be transparent, okay? So you could do it two ways. You could use your grills if you have a Boss foam cannon. Use it with the purple tip. That's the foaming tip. And then this will go straight on to the canister. Or you'll do what Jeremy said. And if you just have a normal foam cannon, you take your 100 mils of water into this and then we're gonna take our clean on now it doesn't smell the best i just want to be transparent the soap smells weird but you take this we're gonna put a hundred mils solution now this smells pretty strong it smells like more like a chemical than a soap you take your hundred mils you put it inside of the foam cannon you let that sit for a little bit you shake it up now you're like eddie that's not gonna get a lot a lot but he does say it'll siphon it so that's how you would dilute that. 100, so it's one to one. And then you got, thick, you got thick foam. So you can see that it does foam on thick. 100 to one. Shaving cream foam. We're gonna take, I'm gonna take it to the other side. We're gonna do it with the other side. This is how much I use for half the car. I thought the back would be a good fit. So remember I have this right here. With the Boss Foam Cannon. It's a little more watery than the dilution that I get out of the MTN, but you can see it working. It is pulling down a lot of the grime already. You can see doing its job. Like this car is heavily contaminated. All right, I let it sit for over a minute, minute and a half. We're gonna start the spray off. Oh yeah, it's doing a good job pulling off the dirt. I'm going to do the contact wash. And just to show you what I mean up close, as you can see, all that dirt coming off of the car with Clean On Pro as the soap i'm um, just doing a good job we'll go through here so you can see how i let it sit before the contact wash and we'll just get up close and look at all that dirt look at all that dirt and all i did was hit a handle dirty the car is dirty so we're going to finish washing it but you can see the dirt that we're getting from this Every part of the car was gnarly. All right, we're at that part of 
the decon. So I washed it. I did a contact wash. I did a pre-wash. I got all the gunk off. You saw the dirt. I'll play that clip here of all the dirt that was coming out of the handles. Now we got to decon it. So they, like I said, this is one of those things that Nazio doesn't have. They don't have uh, a full line of items. So we have RRW. That's what we're going to use for uh, the iron removal process. I'm going to spray it on the car uh, and I'm going to let it sit. This smells freaking gross. So I'm just being honest. It's the worst smelling iron remover in the world, but it's effective. And I want to get this car as clean and I want to get it done quick right here. Um, that stuff is wild. So make sure when you're doing this, make sure when you're doing this, you take your time, get the iron step done for your client. Makes everything else a lot simpler. All right, so I got the iron removal working. I'm gonna leave that for one or two minutes. The next step is the clay bar. Generally, the clay, I use a towel, use some clay lube. We'll get that done. But uh, so far, let's talk about the clean on soap. One of the things I wanna see uh, them do is uh, first of all, it cleans amazing. This cleans phenomenal. I use it both ways in the cannon and it's outside of the cannon. She's thick. The soap is thick. Uh, second of all, the dilutions might seem high to you, but if you use 200 mils of water, 200 mils of soap, I could have done two cars. Uh, that's still pretty high if they could work on that. But other than that, the cleaning ability on that is wild. Um, it's absolutely wild. I love the cleaning ability. Those would be the minor tweaks that I would make to that soap to make it a, a full on, full scent banger for the community is remove the smell, make it smell good, and then make it more dilutable and easier to, to manipulate and to put in a foam cannon. So let's look at the paint condition together, uh, and then we'll go over our pad selection and then how we're gonna do this card. This card should take one hour max to polish it from top to bottom um, to get it looking right before we coat it. At the paint, the cool thing about white, it white hides a lot of stuff, but you have a whole bunch of scratch marks here you have, uh, let me make sure to dial you back so you can see what I'm looking at here. But if you look up close, you can see some scratches in the paint here. And then we have some right here. So yeah, one step is all you need for this paint condition for the Ford. Eurotech, uh, you can use the free ride Eurotech. This is the orange pad. Uh, we're gonna use my six inch shine mate. Five is a little aggressive, but it finishes amazing for one step. The cutting ability of 305 is real good. So I know from my past experience, paint like this, anything more than that, you'll, uh, you'll get a little bit of hazing potentially, right? 305 works on GM paint and we all know GM paint freaking sucks. So this one's not gonna need the blueberry pad or wool. This one I'm gonna get close to 90% pretty confident though I'm, I'm not bragging I'm just done this a lot pretty confident that I'm gonna get 90% um, of correction so take your pad here It'll work three and you're like Eddie what about those curves I just come in like that for those curves And uh, yeah, so I'll get closer again to show you what I mean. Uh, just to show you, works all the scratches off the paint. And that is Nazio 305 is the absolute monster of a compound with an orange pad, right? So I'm gonna do the rest of the car, but I wanna show you that this can cut. One and done, if you need something less aggressive, 505 would, is what I would use. I wouldn't use 705, 105 if you have an absolute barnyard but you can see how good that looks there's let me get the light let me get the light there is no you can see that you see all the scratches are gone all the scratches on the on the surface is gone yeah wild all right let's wrap this up i'm gonna finish doing the car we'll come back and we'll go over the coating process i'm 99 done with the car uh um just give you an overview of my experience so far so i do want to be super honest right I've used this compound a lot, several, I would say over two dozen times, okay? I, this is my second bottle. First bottle was a gift from Tim. Uh, the second one I bought, this is goaded. I mean, this is probably the best one-step compound in the game right now. 
And I could show you my closet, but I don't think it'll, it'll do any validity. A lot of you are gonna say, well, 3D one's better. This one, well, use what you like, right? But from my experience, all types of paints, GM paint, things of that nature, uh, Nazial is, is phenomenal. Uh, we're gonna go over this, this section that I'm gonna use the Merc on. I just finished polishing this whole side. The other side's done, the front is done. Uh, we're gonna get into the intricate parts of this detail, and this is where I this is where I do take the three inch out um, and get it. And I'm just gonna grab that. It's okay if hit the window. I'm not coating the back of this window because it has stripes on it. I might do some other type of coating. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I always come in. I grab that, and the whole back side I'll do with. The Merca. I'm doing like the mow down technique where I'm trying to just get the dead, some of that clear coat that looks not too glossy. Uh, and like I said, you can use an orange pad. You can use a blue pad with this. You can use a rotary uh, to 1200 or 1400. Like it's made to use with everything. That's the cool thing about this compound. Um, and it cuts, it cuts like 1500 grit, this. So yeah, man, get you some. B pillar time. Scratch to crap. We're gonna take the Merca, okay? We're gonna take the Merca. We're gonna take uh, 305, Moish running out. Uh, and then I'm just gonna do a section here. Uh, hardly no pressure. B pillars are one of those things that are hard to get cleaned up, right? Remember this is a non-aggressive pad. This is more of a one step uh, kind of pad. So I'm gonna show you the kind of cut you can get and finish with this Merca and the B-pillar. And remember, this is a one-step compound, okay? I wanna show you that. Look at the difference, two passes, the, the bottom there, that's where we started. And that is where we're at. The issues resolved on the paint. The paint is looking glossy. And then we got the black pillars fixed and done took about an hour and a half today to get this all finished uh but we were able to get everything on the car done all uh, the polishing i got the glass done now we're going to go into a panel prep and we're gonna we're gonna do the trim apc is their uh apc of choice they want you to dilute it 140 145 to one so i got my mafra bottle I already have the water in there where I want to dilute it. And you just fill it to the top, that's it. I'm gonna use that for actually the interior, but also for the plastics around the bottom of the car before I do a panel prep and uh, put on my trim coat. That doesn't ruin plastic. I'm gonna spray that here. You can see the compound that was on there because I went crazy. And then I'm just gonna clean all of that just to get the plastics back to neutral. I it, right? I wanna show you my towel. Remember, I cleaned the car. I did a thorough job cleaning it. I used foam, I foamed twice. This is the plastic sides of the whole bottom. The whole bottom plastic got it looking right, took off the compound that I sprayed all over because I'm a noob. Uh, but man, this this experience with Nazial APC was kind of cool. I first time using it, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna use it for the inside. I'm gonna see if it could take stains off at 45 to one. Uh, I like this bottle because I could dilute it 45 to one. You could also do like 35 to one. Uh, it's what I'm using. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna use their clean. Uh, this is their clean prep spray. We're gonna use that to panel prep the whole car. I'm gonna do back to front glass, all that, cause I'm gonna get straight into a ceramic coating. Uh, the first ceramic coating we're gonna apply is the Nazio trim coat. Uh, and this is, this is, let me read the instructions to you because this is important. Uh, it says here, press cross motion, do not wipe off. Let me tell you something. Do not wipe that off. You're gonna apply, walk away. Listen, I know the habit of wiping it off, leveling it doesn't exist with this. And it does restore plastic. So you wanna wipe it on, do not wipe off, okay? Do not wipe off. You got that. So. We're gonna go with this first, we're gonna go with this, and then we're gonna NZR this mug. Uh, dope design on the bottle. The tray, the triggers, the triggers are not hot garbage. These are fire, okay? We're gonna, I like to overspray to see what kind of consistency I get. So you can see it, it does clean glass. It does flash off good. 
this has a more solvent smell. Uh, it's not good, it's not good or bad. Uh, it's, to me, it's, it's, it doesn't matter. It's just a solvent based smell. I did clean the glass here. Uh, it does wipe off real nice. It does not leave any residue. Squeaky clean, squeaky clean. I'm gonna overspray it so you can see it. I'm gonna wipe it and look, it just evaporates. That was a single wipe. Oh, it just evaporates. That's what I liked about this. Look, I'm gonna show you again. Overspray, you're like, hey, all panel preps do that. No, I'm telling you, this evaporates. Make it easy, you don't have to worry about taking two towels. My towel is super soaked. This is real wet. So this right here is the truth. That is the truth. That's what I want to share. I want to show you the example of the wedding, how it just went off, and it's clean. So great stuff. And as you all trim coat to all the trim, it's permanent. It's a Ford, you know, Ford trim. You said it. I didn't say it. You get a topper inside of the car, of the uh, box here. You get box. You get a rag. So I'm assuming we're going to use the rag to put it on. They give you gloves which is a, I think is a great touch, actually. Uh, they get you ready to do everything. So we're gonna use the same rag that came with it. Uh, I'm gonna put my topper on. I'm gonna show you, this is what I like too. So they, now they top their bottles, so you just pop that off. Smells like a coating. Does it taste like it? I'm joking, bro. We're gonna do this, we're gonna shake it. Always shake your bottles of ceramic. Uh, for me, I like, I can't, I'm not, I like blocks. I'm not doing this, okay? I'm gonna take a microfiber. Well, we'll do this. We'll do, stay with stay with it. Eh? Stay with it. Shake it again. That is trim coat, just like this. I'm going to put some on my microfiber, and I'm gonna go take it here, rub it on. Let's get you there. Let's bring you down, okay? Let's bring you down. So I put it on. and you're painting. And it does richen it a lot. Okay, it does self-level too, which is kind of crazy on the applicator here. I'm gonna do this section so you can see it. Let's, uh, let's go here, this section. And we'll rub it on. Half line here, I'm going to make sure it's there, so it does darken it a lot. This applicator does help too. Uh, and then we're going to just rub it on. If it gets on it, just take your time on the little parts here. A little bit goes a long way too. Freaking nuts, bro. This trim coat, this trim coat, look, no joke, this trim coat is better than anything I've ever used in my life. Uh, I mean that. It levels, it self levels, it works on, I tried it on rubber, I tried it on hard plastic, I tried it on the window cowl, I tried it on the top, it levels. And you can see when you miss the spot, cause right, it's human intervention. So you miss the spot, you go back over, it makes it look rich, makes it look dark, took the white off of it, phenomenal. This right here, this, this. If you stop watching the video right now, go buy that. That, I, I don't know how many cars you could do with that, but probably use 20 mils on this. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it on my Tesla. I have used Fine Lab. I have used uh, DIY. I love the way DIY looks. Dark pigment, but you have to work it in, wipe it off. This, this is crazy, wild, wild. That's what I'm gonna say about that. At that point where we're gonna do the paint coating, perhaps it looks it looks way diff, dude. That trim coating was super impressive, man. The 303, I've always been impressed by that. It's been my go-to. That trim coating, it's absolutely. Uh, it's it's uh, Thor. If Thor came down and uh, you were like, why'd you say that, Eddie? Because it's absolutely ridiculous. N look at my, ridiculous. Okay, that coating, that coating, ridiculous. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Self-leveling, wow. All right, if you haven't opened up one of these boxes yet, let me show you the unboxing experience because Nancy all did it right. Uh, it, <laughs> I took it out so I can't put it back in. You get a bottle, massive 50, liter, 50 millimeter bottle, enough to do any size car. You get a couple of towels. You get an applicator block. You get leveling towels, a buffing towel. You get uh, a cool little, don't know what this is. 
Oh, this is for your block and you get gloves. You want to apply it thick on the applicator itself. Just, I'm going thick for the first time right there. And then we're going to apply it to the panel. Generally, I start here and I'll come down and I don't need to worry about the plastic, they're done. And I'm just gonna put a nice coat. Uh, it is high humidity today and it's hot. So I don't, don't go cheap on here, okay? Apply it thick, apply it thick on it. And then once it starts to bubble like that, I take my first towel and I level it. And right away, it just starts getting super slick. It's <laughs> the experience of it. That's how fast you want to flash that off. Okay, 30 seconds, you're, you're good to go. Take my second towel just for insurance, but uh, the slickness is wild. It's just, I, man, I can't, you can't really see, but it's like, you, it just slick. So I'm gonna do that for the rest of the car, but that's how you apply. Always over apply on the applicator, go on thick, let it sit for 30 seconds and you should be good to go. Here, I got around the car in 25 minutes. 25 minutes the whole car now, so it's a smaller car. Uh, 30 seconds was the maximum flash time. I went a little over one time, caught it before it set it on me, but this, all right, let me just, let me just put this in, in this perspective. And my wife doesn't want to be on camera, but she could talk. Bev, how good is the trim coating? Can you come in? My wife was, she don't ever want to be on camera. She doesn't know that this is a partnership. Come here. Oh, dang, girl, you white. <laughs> tell him. Tell him, Beth. It, well, I didn't know he had coated them yet. I was like, man, those look brand new. That's what I thought. The trim it's coat? Mm -hmm. And how's the ceramic coating look? Oh, it looks, kind of gives it a cool, glossy tone. When I first did this, Bev, I was out here at 11 o'clock at night until 1 in the morning almost. How pissed was I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was real mad. I so. gave him some extra special <laughs> hair. So this one, this one right here. Thank you, babe. Uh -huh. This one right here, if you do 30 seconds, it's uh, going to be top three for the year, for sure. I need to put it against uh, ADS. ADS, I still love quartz. But this went on 30 seconds, slick, super hydrophobic. I have it on a truck. Trim coat. Uh, it, it's going to be the coating of the year for me for trim. When I tell you it restores it, no leveling, touched by God himself. Now, here's where we're at. I finish the car. I finished the car. I am going to do the glass coating. So I already polished it. I'm using built hamburger. I always go through and do another series of cleaning on the glass before I apply ceramic coating. Uh, just, that's just me. You could do whatever you like, uh, but that's what I like to do. So, spray it on. Get the bottom part of it, because we're gonna coat all that. Now this is their panel prep that they want you to use before the ceramic coating of the towel. And I always oversaturate it, and I'm gonna get that ready, ready to go. Get that squeaky clean. They want you to take a microfiber pad, put it on, you, you let it sit. With Nazio, what you wanna do with glass shield is you wanna take 20 sprays, spray on the panel. You're gonna take the rag they give you, you're gonna knock it down. That's all you're gonna do, that's it. So I count, I'll do 20 sprays on each side, count it down, what I can't reach, I'll put on my tool to get it back and forth, but that's how you apply this. Any other way will not give you the longevity that they say or you're, you're looking for. One, two, three, four, five. And then you want to cover it. And then you want to come in with the rag they give you. And you want to rub that in. Go only as far as you can reach. So you can knock it down. You flip it over and literally you're just taking off the streaks on the glass. You'll see like the white streaks. That's what you're doing. You're rubbing that in. That's it. Easy peasy. Done. 
Uh, I'm gonna finish doing the other window, but remember 20 sprays, knock it down, use the cloth they gave you, easy peasy. And just like that, we finished the car. Let me walk you through what I liked about Nazio. The glass coating is absolutely amazing. 20 sprays, spray it on, super easy. Use a reacher tool for the hard to reach places. You use the rag they gave you as the wipe off, it's tremendous. Every single coating comes with gloves, comes with towels. Every single coating has been impressive. The trim coat, my Lord help us, that thing is wild. You, I'm so used to panel prepping, APC, APC, panel prepping, blah, 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 blah. Put it on, rub it in on, rub it in off. This one, I just APC, panel prep, put it on, let it sit, walked away. It cut my time literally in half of what I'm used to doing for trim restore. Seconds, you get an easy on, easy off application. The paint's super smooth, super slick, super glossy. And 48 hours, they could fully wash it. Uh, and then what I liked also was the 305. 305 is one of those. So if you had to ask me, Eddie, from these products, which ones should I get now? Which one's worth my money, right? That's the whole goal. I would start with Rapid Shine, ZR53, uh, the trim coat, the glass coating, do your car. And the 305 polish, do your car, get back to me. The soap, Jeremy knows, the soap needs a little help. For me, it needs this better smell. Uh, the cleaning was phenomenal. You know, the dirt came right off, but the smell is off-putting for me, especially where we live in a day and age where smell is one of the best, you know, one of the things that we, we live off of is how does it smell, how does it work, how does it interact? That smell really hits, it was funky. Um, but the rest of the stuff is great. The APC, one, 45 to one, real good. We're gonna do the interior of this car later on. But for this episode, we're done. We're finished. With that said, I wanna thank Nazio. I wanna thank Tim McLaughlin for sending me the polish. I wanna thank Jason Otterness for making the videos about him using it on GM Paint because that's what really, really got me invested because I was tired of GM Paint marring, finding the best recipe for that. And that 305 is what I use for GM Paint. I'm at GM Paint. GM Paint. With that said, thank you for watching. Road to 10,000. Hope you enjoy. We're out.